I've worked on a project that was related to growing semiconductor crystals in outer space. And this was based on an idea by uh, the director of a center I was working in at the time I was doing my PhD research, uh, Dr. Alex Ignatieff, where we grow semiconductor crystals here on Earth in an ultra-high vacuum chamber. And the reason we do that is because you want the crystals to be very uh, pure and you want them to be of a high quality. Well, he got an idea that what's more of an ultra-high vacuum than the outer space? Why don't we grow the crystals there? So we got this program together with NASA, and we were allowed to fly a payload uh, on a shuttle mission where we were to grow these crystals in outer space. Now the crystal growth technique that we use is called molecular beam epitaxy. So what you do is you take these different elements, elements from your periodic table, and you heat them up to very high temperatures, and you actually grow semiconductor crystals or layers atom by atom, exposing some substrate material to these atoms. Once you do this, then these materials can be used for various applications such as detectors, lasers, probably most of the uh, equipment or appliances that you have in your home have semiconductor crystals in them. You may not know that. But we were looking at growing these in the vacuum of outer space to see if we could get a purer, more high quality version than what we could grow on Earth. And it was exciting because I got to actually go to the control center at NASA at Johnson Space Center, and I was responsible for monitoring the growth during uh, different runs. So it was a team of about 25 of us, and we went in and we sat in in sessions, and we monitored the growth of the crystals as the astronauts deployed the wake shield facility, which was the uh, facility used to grow the samples. So this facility was deployed out into space, and then we on the ground level were giving commands to tell the astronauts how to grow the crystals out in space. It was a wonderful experience. I actually did not meet uh, all of the astronauts that were on the shuttle flight, but I did get to meet two of them. It was a wonderful experience. Just the experience of being in mission control, it's something that's unbelievable. It's a lot of action that goes on for each mission. And it was exciting to have research that I was involved in actually flying on a mission, on a mission uh, with NASA. So this was a wonderful experience. And these are the type of things that you can get involved in when you have positions or jobs that are related to science, engineering, and technology.